19 and 20. Oh, probably better turn that home on that, Kyle, if I'm on YouTube. Otherwise, it'll just look silly. We, I got so used to using it at Garrett, even when there wasn't one in the microphone stand, I'd lean up. You remember that, Brother Denver? We'd have the mic out, but the thing would be that I'd be leaning on the empty mic stand kind of talking to it. Uh, Matthew 15, verses 19 through 20. And twenty, and I listen. I got a whole slew of things I'm going to try to preach quick tonight. The Lord begin to deal with me about something, but I'll, I'll tell you what that is after we read the word, and I'll let you be seated. Uh, for out of the heart proceeded e proceeds proceed, excuse me, evil thoughts, murderers, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, and blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashing hands defileth not a man. You may be seated if you can. Kyle, you cut back my monitor slightly. You would, my brother. Uh, God began to deal with me back in the week on something, and I really didn't know if he was going to tell me to preach or not, but tonight he is. And if he has dealt with me correctly, <laughs> him dealing with me correctly. Now imagine every day. Him doing something right. Hmm. I think it might be a wrong statement in that right there. Um, and if I understand the way God has dealt with me, there we go, uh, then this will be the first in three sermons on sin. And uh, after that third sermon, I, I may make an announcement next week who or what's going to be preaching next uh, the Sunday after that, that. But the next three Sundays, Lord be willing, we're going to be preaching on sin. And, you know, I don't preach in one way. I don't preach on sin no big lot, but tonight we're going to, uh, tonight we're going to preach on it. Uh, sin part one, the case for Team Jesus, the case for the cross. And the better statement is, you remember Rocky Bullwinkle when they'd always get two titles? Remember that? You remember Rocky Bullwinkle cartoon? You used to watch that? But you actually know what I'm talking about. The, uh, you remember that? And they'd say, or or otherwise, and they would give another name for it. Anyways, why do we associate with the wrong team? Amen? You got that wonderful picture, Kyle? Can you hook me up, brother? I don't know who this dude is on the left up here, but, uh, well, it's your all's right. Uh, I hope you don't see it and sue me, but if you're going to wear a shirt like this, you're just subject to whatever comes. Uh, see, it's a really cool picture. Look at that. It's coming. Hold on. That's how we go. Looky there. Woo! We could stop right there, couldn't we? Hey, you managed to get the guy's head out there, Kyle. Did you do that on purpose? That's good. That probably keeps us out of trouble. There's a beardy kind of creepy looking dude wearing that shirt. Anyway, um, Team Jesus and Team Satan. How many know that there's only two sides? Amen. That wasn't very strong. Let's try that again. How many know there's only two teams? Amen. Oh, uh -huh, glory. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, I want somebody to give me a sin. It don't matter. Throw me one. Backbiting. Uh-oh, Missy, you better write down backbiting. I'll get that one in a minute. Hey. Better write down backbiting. What, what? Hey. Yeah, say Yeah, everyone's a new one. Every sin's their own sin. We're all going to burn for them all. They're all the new ones. So. Yeah, backbiting. Backbiting. Oh, do you want to carry all seven daily? You might have to write Ty on that with all of them. He's got a few, he said. Uh, there's some players who play multiple positions. You see, how many of y'all remember getting picked in school for teams and you was the last person to be picked? Yeah. Clearly, we're not a bunch of athletes in this building. Anyway, uh, I, I suffered from that, Brother Scott, a lot. Nobody ever wanted me and for good reason. I'm not, I don't, I don't begrudge them. Brother Denver, I'm not offended by the fact that they didn't want me on their team because I wasn't a very good one. But let me ask you something. Even if you're the worst player on the team, does that still mean you're on the team? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. That's where he's going to say amen. Does that mean he's still on the team? Amen. Y'all going to have to stay with me. You know, we had all the doctors graduated from last time. Say what? You know, they call the doctors graduated from last time. A doctor. Glory to God. You better write down. Somebody holler gluttony. That's not a real sin. They said gluttony is not a real But you better write it down. Listen, and Ty said about lust and several, five or six others. Y'all better. Glory to God. 
Uh oh. Hold on now. Well, here, come on now. Come on, Pastor. Well, you're on the team. Well, what do you want me to do? I want you to get your sin and take the bench, so come on. You're part of the team. Hustle. Double time. Double time. You're on Team Satan. Get up there. Well, listen, I don't want you to throw out them ones that we struggle with all the time, that we admit that we struggle with. I want you to throw out them good ones that nobody likes to talk about. Pride. Pride. I like pride. Did you get pride missing you? Yeah. Hey, you I'm, probably ought to add gossip to this one since you put me you in better, here for backbite. You know what? You know, you know old Ty's there, since he likes lust and good, put murder down there, too. <laughs> put murder on it. Did you know that about him? Yeah. Boy, but I don't want to look my name. I say my name. It's all true. It's all true. Hey, Justin. You hollered gluttony, didn't you? Come on, son. Get up here. Come on. I, yeah, Sorry. You know, I'm going to be up here. You're going to be up here. He said, out of the heart comes. Well, I know all that. Out of the mouth, out of the mouth comes. The Come on, Brother Scott. You up and sitting up here on the bad side tonight? You, 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 you willing to take your pride? Glory to God. I, I yeah. Come on. I don't believe a word of that, Scott. Hallelujah. Somebody better find Galatians chapter 5 for me and find the good part in Galatians chapter 5. If you ain't figured it out, did you write lust in there for him to? Oh, Blake's decorating that one there. Give me, give me that lust in that murder. Come on, come on here, you, you Satan. I get up here. You. Yeah. Well, you know, you know that there's some of us who are just good at certain things, but there's some people who's good at a lot of things. You ever seen them basketball players that can play any position? I haven't. I don't watch basketball, but I hear they exist, right? The. Uh, but you know, and so we got some people who's good at more than one thing. Get up, get up there somewhere. Don't be sitting in an empty seat over there. Don't. He's a multitasker. Well, you know what? If you're going to burn, you might as well make it worth your while. You know what I mean? If you're going to go, go all out. Glory to God. We got one more. Somebody else holler something. Man, how about lying? We don't want to leave out liars. Oh, they, they in that position. Phil, I need a thumb tacker and nail, please. Did you get there, hey, there's something biased about this. There are no women up here. Well, that ought to tell you something, man. <laughs> Whoever said the women couldn't keep their mouth shut right there. <laughs> Glory to God. Come on, Lindsay. No. You can be a liar. I want you a liar. Let's put her in the supposed to be an A. She's a leader. When you get that. What? Oh, there's a racial joke for the night. Did you find him good things? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, really one of the good things. Don't matter. Just any one of them. Love, joy. Uh, uh, right now, love. Not love, joy. That's some child's name. They ain't no Christian got both of those. I'm just kidding. That's what. Don't don't falsely accuse me. I might love you, but I ain't happy about it. <laughs> Glory to God. There you, come on, Kim. I hear you chuckle back there. Get your thing. Get up here and be loved. Get, sit down up here. Come on, Andrea. You can be joy. Come on. <laughs> there you go. That's hilarious. Right, Andrea, have it. <laughs> I'm going to try to hurry. Listen, I want you to understand something. I want you to understand something now that there are two teams in this world. There's only two options. Brother Bert, I'm a servant Satan or I'm a servant God. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. And there's no other way that you can crack this up. And there's no other sin that you're going to rattle to me, Brother Ralph, that's not going to fall into this bench full of players on this side. Now, I want to kind of take a poll. Y'all kind of hold your signs up a little bit high there. Can, can, now, if you all had to rank which one of these sins was the worst or the best or the least, I should say, what would you begin to say was the least one? Probably most of us would say gluttony was the least one we needed to worry about, right? 
You all ain't amen in me no more. Come on, I know how you right. think. They're all sin. They're all sin. But that's not the way that we look at it. Glory to God. We put a rank on what sin is. And we think we think that a glutton and a liar and somebody prideful can get away with more than somebody who has murder or lust in their heart. Can you can you say I'm in that you say? But let me ask you something. It doesn't matter what bench that they're on right there. If you have sin in your life, then you're wearing the black jersey on the left side. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen, amen. amen brother Sean. Preach an amen. Hey, they got you. I got one cheering section back. We can put your signs down. <laughs> Listen, I want to talk to you just a minute about this. I want to roll you through some verses. Did you all hear about? Did you all hear about that child that was raped and died? Yeah. That yes. nine month old baby? Yeah. I am. Come on. Yes. Come on. Let me ask you something. What was your first instinct? Killing. 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 Glory to God. Listen, I'm, I'm going to have to get more seats because we got murder in our hearts this evening. You know what? It's mine too, Sister Lisa. Come on, give me a fist bump. I hear you. You know what? I ain't going to sit here and lie about it because I had anger rise up in me, Brother Blake. And there's a part of me, Brother Denver, that would do that man in. And I'm not saying that we're necessarily wrong because he said be angry and sin not. But I'm going to tell you something, Brother James. Here he, Lord God, that man needs Jesus Christ as bad as the rest of us. Come on, amen. Amen? I'm going somewhere with that. Hang on to that story. Are you happy in the Lord. You look a little sad there for a minute. I got worried. At least you're wearing a good jersey and them people's going to hell over here. Huh? Adrian, listen. Trade places. <laughs> Mark 7. Listen. Mark 7. This, some of this is going to be redundant, but bear with me. I'm going to read. I'm going to blow through it. And, and I want you all to get your mind around this. Mark 7, 21 through 23 says, For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness. That's perversion in case you didn't know what that the hell word was. An evil eye. Oh, crud. There goes the stink eye you give everybody when you're driving. There, there it is. Blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Romans 1, 28 goes on to read like this. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. That means a mind that is hard or callous and don't want to be changed. To do those things which were not convenient, as we would know right or correct, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters. Hey, gotcha. Haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters. Hey, got, got Scott on that one too. Uh, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. I went over teenager. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Glory to God. We, He said in one place that we would call good evil and evil good. And in another place, who said only glory is the shame, Brother Denver. And we actually enjoy those people who do wrong, Brother Daniel. We like to do it ourselves, but we want to rejoice in those that are doing wrong too, Sister Tommy. Well, let me tell you something. For every good team, there's a cheerleading squad. Amen? So I'm just going to forewarn you, if you ain't wearing the jersey, you're carrying the pom-poms. Amen? You might be sitting on the sidelines, Brother Bert, but glory to God, if you're enjoying the world, then you're carrying the pom-poms. Amen? Now listen, we might go all the way to the final game and it might be a real close call, but I hate to tell you, everybody on this side is eventually going to lose. Amen? Because he said every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is yes. the Lord to the glory of the Father. Yes. Amen. Glory. The Lord, Lord, the King. Did you like that? He gave them over to a heartless of heart that they, that they are worthy of death 
Uh, but they do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 says this, but, no, but now, excuse me, I have written unto you not to keep company. Uh-oh. Let's say that. Not to keep company. Say that with me. Not to keep not company. To keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or covetous or an, or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner. Well, there went some of my family. Which such, I'm joking. Which such and one know not to eat but them that are without God judges. Therefore, put away from among yourselves that wicked person. First of all, don't misconstrue it. Misconstrue it. I know that in order for us to be a light to the world, Brother Burke, we have to be somewhat associated uh, in the world. But let me tell you something. I can be in the world and not be of the world. Amen. Amen. I don't have to tell dirty jokes with you. I don't have to laugh at dirty jokes with you. I don't have to look at women with you. Come on, somebody ought to hear me. Amen. Amen. I don't have to gossip with you. Amen. I don't have to partake in that. I don't have to eat the same nasty as you're eating, Brother Ty. Come on. 1 Corinthians 6 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous is not I inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners. Got them again. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. Uh oh, did you hear that? We were those things. We were. Come on. Past tense. Are you or were you? But ye are washed. But ye are sanctified. But ye Come are on. justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Glory. I can change teams. Sister Lisa, if I will but call on the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. the Son of God, and say, Lord, I know you're real. And Lord, I know you resurrected for me. And Lord, I know you died for me. And Jesus saved me. Yeah. And washed me in your blood. And he said, you know what? You're not that anymore. But I'm taking you, the worst of the worst, and I'm putting you on the winning team. I'm yeah. changing the field. Well, I should have I should have left those verses in Jude in there where it said there had been some that crept in unaware. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to tell you, but you guys were backslide. Get back over there. You all started eating and partaking with the wrong people right there. Yeah. Listen, I got I got some got a couple more verses here. We're about done. Galatians five nineteen. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. I want you to know there's like triple the amount of the works of the flesh that there are the works of the spirit. Just Come on. so you know, if Amen. they listed them different, you ought to go read that. Love this set of verses. I regret this not being something I didn't drill into my youth. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. There's that perversion again. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders. Got you that time, Ty. Drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. I'm going to tell you something. If you switch teams tonight, it's going to be just like 2 Corinthians 5.17. And you will become a new creature. Glory to God. Yeah. You will lay down the old things. And you will pick up the new things. It will yeah. change you on the inside. Yes, Listen, Lord. you're going to be able to tell me from the world if I'm living for Jesus Christ yeah. but glory to God he said bitter and sweet water don't come out of the same well yeah. somebody ought to hear me I can't live like the world and look like the world and not be of the world somebody ought to say yeah. Preaching with me. Oh, 
up, sing me down. Listen, if I'm doing what they're doing and all these bad things I've been reason, then, I, then I'm wearing the black jersey and I'm sitting on this side. Amen? Amen. Come on. Yep. And if Jesus truly gets a hold of my heart, Sister Linda, then He's going to change me on the inside. And I'm going to lay down the works of the flesh and I'm going to pick up the gifts of the Spirit. Amen? Amen. Come on, right here. He said, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory. There's that pride again. Provoking one another, envying one another. First Thessalonians 4, 7. Oh, it ties right into where we just come from about us being saved. He said, For God hath not called us into uncleanness, but unto holiness. He said in 1 Peter, He said, But as He which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, which means living, not just talking, but it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Glory. And then we get into Revelations. And you know what? If you had any doubt about it, he failed about it, he probably drove it home in Revelation, considering the fact that's the last thing that he left for us to read on. He said in Revelations chapter 21, he said, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers, and if you don't know what that other one was, that's somebody who picks up a prostitute, just in case you didn't know him. You know, that word's a little past us now. And sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Sorry about your luck, guys. Y'all lost it. It was a close game, but you got shut down in overtime right there. And there shall in no wise, the still of Revelation 21, there and shall in no wise enter into it, meaning heaven, anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. we got to have salvation. Can you say amen? amen? Words does not save us. I'm saved by the blood of Christ, but when I'm saved by the blood of Christ, I don't want to live like the world. I want to live like Jesus. Yeah, come on. Amen. amen. And living like Jesus allows me to have fruit of the Spirit. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 Last verse. And then we're going to start preaching. Just kidding. <laughs> Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without of the city are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and adulterers yes. and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Come on. See, I rattle off all those verses about all that sin to bring us to this point. What's the most reprehensible thing that you can think of? Shout it out. You want to me? What's the grossest, nastiest person you know of? I, <clears throat> I'll give you a hint. A, a child molester. I was talking about that guy a while ago that raped and murdered that young child. We call it murder. The baby died. He murdered it. Amen? What, what bench is that man sitting on? He's sitting on the side. I want to ask you something. I want to ask you something. How many of y'all think that's just the most disgusting thing you've heard of? Amen? Okay? It, it, this is a very simple question. Y'all know where this is going. And, and hold up your signs again there, Team Black. Lynn's ever playing with my thumbtacks. That, that, that. Alright, let me ask you something. Do you think those things right there are as reprehensible as what that man did to that baby? I mean, I know, I know, and I agree, I agree with, with, with Brother Ralph back here. Those things that they ask God, we're all, all going to burn. We can argue about thermostat set later if we want to. We're all going to hell over sin. Amen? It don't matter what it is, big sin, little sin, good player, bad player, multi-position, one position, you're going to hell. Period. Space, space, new sentence. And listen, I hate to tell you, but if you're a Christian, you ain't bearing no fruit. You might not be evaluating yourself, but something might be off. We're not going to dwell there. So let me ask you something. If you had to sit down on a bus next to one of these people, other than, other than maybe Ty over here, 
Would you all really think much about it? Would you go ahead and sit down with people yeah, like that? Yeah, well, I mean, you, know, you couldn't help that at all anyway. Yeah. Yeah, get some snack cakes. Listen, Chris, she says, get some snack cakes. We could right there. We're going we're gonna to sit right now. We're going to hang out with them people. Glory to God. We'll ignore what I'm going to Look, I'm just hanging out with my team. These are my peeps. Look, he that, do, do we think that these people's any worse than anybody else? But I'm going to tell you something. Satan is everything bad. You ain't no BFF with Satan. Satan's everything bad. Satan is a liar. Can you hear me? And the father of it. Satan is a murderer. Satan is full of lust and perversion and fornication and adultery. And he's full of gluttony. Anything that is bad, Satan embodies it. I can further prove it by the Word. He said all things good come from the father of lies. He didn't say about anything bad. So if God is all things good, then Satan must be all things bad. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't care whether it's a big sin or a little sin, you're still sitting on the same bench. And if you guys are doing those little petty crimes, I want you to know what you're sitting next to. And you're sharing the same jersey. And you're wearing the same playing field. And you're running the same plays. And you're on the same team as the very thing that you told me was the most reprehensible thing that you could think of. That says child molester if you can't make it out in the back. Let me tell you something. Why do you associate with who you associate with? I am not talking about who is your worldly friend, but I am talking about what you let go on in your life. And you tell yourself that it's just a little white lie. And you tell yourself that it's just a little backbiting and it was revenge and it had it coming. And you tell yourself it's just a little bit of lust or a little bit of this or a little bit of that. But I'm going to tell you something, brother. Around. You're sitting in the same bench wearing the same jersey as the things that you call evil and defiled and reprehensible. What God called an abomination. You're sharing a playing field with the same one. Amen? Amen? You say you're preaching with hate. Ain't got no hate in me tonight. Come on. Amen? Come on. I'm telling you fact just the way that it is. Amen? You can't sit here. You cannot sit here and do sin and disassociate yourself with the worst of the worst. Come on. Amen. Amen. It don't work that way. Come on. It does not work that way, Sister Kim. I don't have that luxury. What was that question that the Lord had me ask you when this started? Work phone. Come on. Why do we associate? With the wrong team. Amen? Come on. Oh, Satan defies Satan, beguiles the sin, don't Brother Ralph? And he tells me, he tells me that backbiting ain't, ain't too bad. He tells me a little pride. Oh, you, you've earned that, Brother Scott. Hard work. It's good to be prideful. Oh, it's gluttony good. I like gluttony, man. I'm all about that right there. Give me some food. Gross muscle. Murder and lust. Let me tell you, I've had a few people I can murder over. And I like what that guy said in God Chisel. He said, I can lust any time I want to. Yeah. Right there. Well, we all know a liar. Hey, Amen. <laughs> what can we say? <laughs> Lord, everybody's got a liar on the staff, right? Amen. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Everybody's got one in the family. A little white lie. I like that guy for commercial when Abraham Lincoln's wife asked him if the dress made her look big and he said, yeah. it's look big. You know, everybody's got to, everybody, see, we want to justify our sin as being okay, but what we want to ignore is that we're in the same league as the bad boys. Come on. There ain't no minor league. Ain't no farm league. Come on. Amen. Ain't no, ain't no low series in this, Sister Kim. We're all professionals in this. We're either professionally living for Jesus or professionally living for the devil. Can you say that, amen? amen? It's one or the other. So again, I ask you this question. Look at that. I've lost one after he jumped ship. <laughs> Little does he know that straddling the fence won't get him anywhere because a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Amen? 
He's going to the restroom. I know where he's going. He worked that well. Hey, man. Let me ask you something. Why do you want to be associated with people like that? Would you sit to him? Would you sit next to him on the bus? I don't. I wouldn't either, Mikey. I wouldn't sit next to him on the bus. Not Are you going to sit? If you knew, if you knew and you had to sit next to him, would you sit next to him? Come on. If you're not willing to sit next to him, why are you going to wear the same jersey they're wearing? Why are you going to associate yourself with them? Amen? It is what it is, guys. Listen, I can't get a swastika tattooed on my arm and people not think I'm a Nazi. Amen? If I don't want to be thought a Nazi, then why am I going to associate myself with those people? Can you say amen? Esau, the old Greek storyteller, shared a fable about a crane and some crows. And the crane got lost. Brother Blake got blown off course and he wound up in a farmer's field with a bunch of crows. And the crane was just trying to figure out where to go. And he said to the crows, where am I? And about the time that he started trying to figure out what was going on, there was a net, a trap that was set. And the old farmer sprung it and it captured all the birds in the field. Brother Burke, Sister Sharon called every one of them, all the crows and the crane too. And the old farmer come out and he said something along the lines of, ha, ah, I've got you now, now I'm going to keep you. Right? And the crane said, dude, I wasn't in your garden. I'm just lost. I'm just trying to get out, you know, I'm just trying to get out of here, man. I got blown off course. He said, you know what, dude? You shouldn't have been associated with the wrong people. Amen? Listen, I can't get out of the world, guys. I don't expect you. I'm not, I'm not telling that we've got to be like Amish people cut off all that. That's not what I'm talking about. But I'm telling you that you can live in the world and not have to wear the jersey. Amen? You can live in the world and not have to wear the jersey. Because I'm going to tell you, when you're wearing that jersey, when you're committing any kind of sin, big or little, ugly or not, you're associated with the worst of the worst. You cannot choose. You cannot choose what part of Satan you affiliate with. That'd be like Missy saying she's only married to me when I'm good. I'm only married to him on payday. I'm only married to him when, when he treats me nice. I'm only married to him when he brings me flowers. I'm only married to him when he talks to me good. The rest of the time we ain't good. No, 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 no. Now see, when you're on that team, you take the good with the bad. You take the good players and the bad players. You take the mediocre players. Come on, somebody ought to hear me tonight. There ain't no way around it. When you married, you married. You get all of it. The whole package. Every bit of it, Brother Bill. I tell you what I like to do, Brother Bill, every Saturday night before church. I like to I like to drink me about that much. I have a fifth of bottle of vodka. That way I get tipsy. You sitting on the same bench? Amen. I can look at the menu. I just don't have to buy an order that don't fly. He said, if you lust after a woman, you've already committed adultery in your heart. Don't let the Lord catch you doing it. He said, well, what about you, Brother Sean? You ain't going to answer to me in judgment. Amen. He said, depart from me, you work of iniquity, for I know you not. Amen. I wish I had some like Velcro or something tied. I could just decorate it with all kinds of things. See how you feel about it. Yeah, well, you know. Out of the mouth comes the button. I'm just kidding. Glory. Why do we do it, guys? And, and you know the whole point of this. All my yelling and screaming at this point brings us right here, right at this moment. If you don't get nothing else out of this, I want, I want to ask you this question. I want you to ask yourself this question because it don't matter what your answer is to me. It only matter, matters what your answer is to yourself and God. If you know that being on that team associates you with the worst of the worst, why do you want to be associated with that? Separate yourself. Amen? Separate yourself. What team are you on? David Boy. Amen. Come on. What team are you on? David Boy. He said... That there would be joy and that there would be love. And I'd give Andrew, I'd give Andrew a hard time about being 
Andrea is genuinely pretty happy. And uh, I've teased her a little bit tonight. and she's Everybody's been a good sport. You all can turn your sin in and go away. You all just got cut from the teams. Draft is coming. Ty, if you and one of the other boys can put her seat. What, you want to go too? Raps are coming. Y'all are going to get out of here. Left behind. Hey, Ty, the song I sent you? The, not the, not the multi-language, the other one. 